So you've written an article using Google Docs and you're ready to publish it on your website. You're ready to publish it in your WordPress website. Can't you just copy and paste the entire thing and put it into the WordPress editor, click publish and good to go? Not exactly. You see, when you use uh, Microsoft Word, when you use Google Docs, when you use just about any word processor out there that has things like bold, underline, italics, any type of styling, when you copy that text from that original uh, word processor where you wrote it, not only are you copying the words and you're copying the font sizes, but you're copying all of the styling. So just going straight from uh, Google Docs and pasting directly into WordPress, that would apparently, you would think that would work, but no, it pulls in a whole bunch of other uh, details. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I've got this article here and we wrote it completely in Google Drive or in Google Docs. Let me bring it up here. I'll show you exactly what it looked like. You can see the whole thing. You've got your title here. You've got your um, you've got all your text. You have your images with your captions underneath here. You've got your H2 tags. You've got your bullet list. You have everything styled in here the way that you want. So can you just copy and paste? And put it into micro and put it into WordPress. Well, not really, because you see, while you might just copy everything and click paste, uh, what you want to see is actually what we see at the top of this right here. You want to see straight text with some breaks. You want to see your image. Uh, you want to see your uh, italic markers. That's what you want to see. But if you just go straight, copy and paste, what you're actually going to see is this. You're going to see a whole bunch of styling. Now, what I'm looking at here is the text editor. This is the HTML and the CSS that's been as assigned to these individual chunks of text. So not only are you pulling over um, you know, different things like um, colors or different things like uh, fonts, whatever, you're going to pull over whatever Google has decided to assign or Microsoft has decided to assign. And so right here you're seeing that this list item has a font weight of 400. Well, that would be great except the rest of my website doesn't use the font weight of 400. So when somebody goes and looks at that particular post, what they're going to see is an inconsistency. So right here I've got an H2 title. This is the way that it's supposed to look in WordPress. Well, if we scroll down here, you'll see here's another H2 title. Well, what makes the difference here? The difference is this is the one that has the um, font weight of 400 assigned. This is the one that is the standard. So now if we go in and we look at preview, it may or may not publish it on the front end during the preview, but it's definitely, definitely going to have an impact overall. So if we look, you've got your H2 right here. That yeah, winds up looking okay, but we still don't want that. So anyways, in the preview, this winds up looking okay. When you click publish and it pulls all the CSS from the site and it's no longer WordPress preview, but it's all the CSS, you could have a serious conflict. And half of your article will look one way, the other half will look a different way, and it'll look completely different from the rest of your article. So what do you want to do as an alternative? Well, um, what we do on our team here at Shrine Media, what I like to do is I like to just copy and paste each section as its own. When you go copy, and then when you go into WordPress to paste, I like to paste everything in the text editor. If you paste it in the text editor, it strips out all of the different styling. If I paste it into this editor right here, you'll see paste, when we go in, it retains all of that extra CSS mojo right there. So really what you want to do is you want to make sure however you paste it, you're either pasting it in the text editor or another thing you can do is you can go up to um, I think it's like edit and paste and you can go paste and match style and a lot of times that will pull out the extra code. But what you're looking at here and what you're looking at back here, um, you, you want all of it to be the same. So basically uh, if you do this you could go back and you could just copy and paste or you just go through and you delete all of this extra junk right here. So, so you'll see right here you've got extra spans. Um, and so that might cause some weird spacing on the front end. So basically, just don't go straight copy and paste. Know exactly what you're doing. Know how it's going to impact your article and move according to that. All right. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. And go check out this article at shrinemedia.com.